A Sarasota seafood fixture is celebrating its 100th anniversary. Walt S. Fish Market, Restaurant and Tiki Bar, 4144S Tamiami Trail, will host a party at noon on Sunday complete with a mechanical shark, live music, live auctions, silent auctions, and all-you-can-eat seafood buffet and more, according to a Facebook post. The annual event is held to raise money for the Tom Wallen Memorial Reef, named after the restaurant's late longtime owner. The reef is located in the Gulf off the coast of Sarasota, according to the Facebook post. Brett Wallen, fourth generation owner, told the Sarasota Herald Tribune that the reef is a gift to the waters that helped grow his family's business. I love my life, Brett Wallen told the Herald Tribune. I go out to my dad's reef, I catch a fish, I am sitting down here eating it, you retelling me thank you after you repurchasing it from me. There are a lot of cool places all over the world to eat in fish markets, but there are very few people like us that are still left. The restaurant's century of history began when Klaus Wallen left his farm life in Sweden for the United States with the Ringling Circus, according to the Walt S. Fish Market website. Klaus Wallen settled down in Sarasota after the circus appeared there and married the feisty Irene Gallagher in 1920. Irene Gallagher's brother, Jesse Gallagher was a skilled commercial fisherman who fished between Punta Gorda and Sarasota from 1920 to 1985. Wallen learned to fish from Jesse Gallagher, the website read. Klaus Wallen, his son Walter Wallen and his grandsons Walty Wallen and Tom Wallen carried on the family tradition of working as local fishermen in the Sarasota area. It was a pristine area then, and Sarasota was recognized as a commercial fishing village, Tom Wallen said, according to the website. We used to fish all night, pulling our boats in front of the ringling grounds in the jungle gardens looking for schools of mullet and other fish. All the fishermen were local then, and we were all friends. Tom Wallen served in World War II before he eventually opened up the first Walt S. Fish Market on downtown Sarasota South 4th Street, the Herald Tribune reported. The restaurant's popularity grew once it started selling its signature fried fish sandwiches. The restaurant has had locations in Venice, Englewood and Casey Key. By 1998, it was down to its current location, the Herald Tribune reported. Brett Wallen took over the family business after Tom Wallen died in 2006 from cancer, according to the website. Brett Wallen told the Herald Tribune that the current location is enough for him, I don't even feel like I am working half the time when I am here because the people open the door for me, they offer me a drink, they offer me food, Brett Wallen told the Herald Tribune. I am like, this is my place, let me offer you something, but they re just so happy to be here, that there is still a place where people can really be family.